mean, every year that I've come to the Biff nominations or the Biffers, I get so sort of overwhelmed and surprised at the sheer quality of movies that are being made on independent budgets in this country. When you saw that list, uh, well, last night or this morning, were you also quite kind of taken aback at just how amazing sort of independent cinema is at the moment? Absolutely, and, and how uh, how great this opportunity is as well, and how much this does for for the, all those people. Um, I just knocked my poppy out. Oh no. I had a poppy. Oh, here. here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's incredible. It's just, it's just, it makes you so proud. And, um, and I, I love being a part of British independent film and coming here and, and, and reading the names and, and seeing the reaction. It just, it, you know, reminds you why, why you do it. And, and I think like the feeling of like the support of British independent film in this uh, room is just like immense. I mean, and also, I mean, how important is it that we are still sort of championing and celebrating uh, films of this nature? I think it's vital. I think it's vital that we are. Um, I think that given the current social, political climate in the world, I think it's really important that um, artists are getting the chance to make films and tell stories about, about today's world that aren't necessarily just about entertainment, but can kind of take you into a world that you recognise and they say something about the world that we're living in. Um, and just sort of tell stories about the human experience, which is what British independent film does so brilliantly, I think. Mm -hmm. And how encouraging is it for you both as well to see that? I mean, I think in the best sort of screenwriter list, for example, there's more female nominees than there are male. I mean, and this year the whole list is so is so brilliant in that regard. I mean, the split is so sort of much so so diverse. I mean, how encouraging is that for you two as a sort of young female actresses in this industry to know that that that's, that's we're moving in the right direction? It feels amazing. It feels like I started my career with a really wonderful female character. And I slowly learned that that's not the way it always is. But in British independent film, I feel like it is. I like, think it is. They know what they're doing. They know how to write women. And that's where I want to be. Like, it's, it's incredible to see so many women behind the camera and in front of the camera being recognized here today. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's really important. And I think that we're very lucky in that we're starting our careers, like, right at the what time feel, of change. Yeah, mm. it feels like the time of change, and um, so it's just only exciting, really. Yeah. Would you say that you guys are sort of, does this, is this inspiring to a sense that you harbour any kind of ambitions one day to do stuff behind the camera as well? We both do, actually, yeah. I, I write, um, and I'm working on my first screenplay at the moment, which I'm also hoping to be in, and then I want to direct one day. And this does give you that sense that it's possible, doesn't yeah. it? That it's so collaborative, and there's a community and a conversation happening that it does feel like it's possible mm. to do. There was a time when people would laugh in your face if you said that as a 20, a 20 year old woman. What, yeah, like I think, I think um, there's just so much ambition and it's like fueled, you know. People are, like, are wishing you to be creative in this industry and it feels great. Um, I just started a production company um, and would also potentially like to direct one day. Um, and I just, I love that, you know, I can say that with confidence. Like, and, and, uh, you know, that's important. Kind of support present to, to allow that to and, happen. And people will take us seriously. Yeah. I, I think like there was a time when people wouldn't take a woman seriously saying that, um, particularly as young as us. But yeah, it feels, it feels really nice. <laughs> because basically, obviously, because there's this incredible wealth of, of filmmakers and British independent films. Do you feel now we've obviously Game of Thrones coming to an end that there's more freedom for you to maybe it's less, I don't know now to take on more roles and work with more filmmakers? I guess every year you've kind of had this obligation for the past what like. Decades? Yeah, well, yeah, eight years. It's been eight years. Eight years. And it's been my whole career up until now. So, on one hand, it's kind of scary leaving that behind, leaving that um, safety net. But on the other hand, coming here and, and, and reading these names and seeing, you know, such amazing uh, independent film coming out of Britain, it just makes me miss it. And it's the only place I've ever really wanted to be. And I just love independent movies and, and the characters written and the stories that are told are just. I just find them so enthralling um, that I just can't wait to come back, and that's all. That's what. That's all I want to do <laughs> for the rest of my career. <laughs> Conversely, though, it's still a little bit sad. It's finishing. Yeah, I mean, it's like that's been my whole life. It's been everything I've ever known in this industry, and it's taught me everything. So it is a little sad, but um, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> I mean, this, what was this past year been like for you? Obviously, you last year you won the, the award. I mean, have you? I mean, it's been sort of whirlwind twelve months. I, I imagine. Yeah, it's been pretty full on. It's been lovely. It's been the first year in a long time that I've worked consistently and gone from job to job, which is really nice. And there's been what I think this has done is is given a little bit of um, 
a little bit of diversity in the roles that I've played. They haven't all been kind of extremely similar to Katie and Daniel Blake. They've been quite different. Um, I've just finished Cat on a Hot Tin Roof that I was doing on stage and was playing, you know, a woman from the Deep South. And so it gives you it gives it a little bit of diversity, which has which has been really good this year. And just finally, how nice is it to actually go to the, the award ceremony, not being a nominee? Is it, does it does it mean you can sort of just relax a little bit more? Do you look forward to it in a kind of different way to you? Do you have in the past? Yeah, it's just chill. And then the biffers are so much fun. And because they're just before Christmas, it feels really festive, and everyone's in the, a party spirit, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a, a huge celebration. I think whether you're nominated or not, you just get that that great feeling of of the, the uh, of supporting British film, which is the best. Champagne as well, so yeah, thank you so much for your time together. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys.